So let us solve one more problem. So first let us read, read the question first. Prove that sin inverse of 3 by 5 plus sin inverse of 8 by 17 equals to cos inverse of 36 by 85. So as keeping you of the strategy of problem solving or strategies of problem solving, one of the strategies is actually restating the problem. So the problem can be restated and we can solve it. So that is one of the strategies of the problem solving that you might have come across the problems of solving techniques. So that means in this case, just if you say the first one is alpha, second one is beta, alpha plus beta is equal, to, we have to prove that cos inverse of 36 by 85. So the same problem can be restated as cos of alpha plus beta is equal to 36 by 85. So that means in this case, it is enough to prove that first of all, in the first stage, cos of alpha plus beta is equal to 36 by 85. But again, here one question will arise. So in order to find out the cos of alpha plus beta, what sort of the elements are required here? So that means we have to elaborate or expand the cos of alpha plus beta. The cos of alpha plus beta equals to cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta. So that means as we have sin alpha, we have to find out cos alpha. As we have sin beta, we have to find out cos beta. So that the cos of alpha plus beta can be obtained after that once again the required the statement has to be proved. That is nothing but alpha plus beta is equal to in terms of cos inverse we will get the we will get our answer or uh, we will arrive to the solution. So let us solve it first of all. So now first let us say the sin inverse of 3 by 5 equals to alpha. That implies sin alpha equal to 3 by 5. So keeping you of our solution restatement of the problem, we need to find out cos alpha. So cos alpha means you take a triangle better like here only in which we can specify alpha angle like this. Sin alpha is equal as for the definition 3, 5. How to find out this one means this is the hypotenuse. This one is square root of hypotenuse square minus side square leg square. 25 minus 9, 16, square root is 4. So now we can write here cos alpha. So what is cos alpha? Adjacent side by hypotenuse, that is 4 by 5. Okay, we we'll leave it now. So let us consider or let sin inverse 8 by 17 equals to other angle beta. Now this equal to sin beta is equal to 8 by 17. Now in this case we need to find out cos beta. So we take the help of other right angle triangle. Say here also specify beta angle. So as for the definitions sin beta is equal to opposite side 8 this is 17. Now the third side we have to find out. So that is 17 square is 289. This is 64, 289 minus 64 is 225. What is the square root of 225? It's very simple, 15. So this is 15. Now here we can write cos beta value, nothing but 15 by 17. So now let us restate the problem. That means find cos of alpha plus beta. So that means consider cos of alpha plus beta. Cos of alpha plus beta is equal to expansion. Let us write its expansion form. So cos of alpha plus beta is cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta. It's very very important not plus minus sin will get it because it is similar to cos of a plus b formula. So now 
this cos of alpha plus beta can be written as like this by substituting respective values cos alpha is 4 by 5 multiplied by cos beta is equal to 15 by 17 minus sin alpha is 3 by 5 and multiplied by sin beta what is sin beta 8 by 17 ok now let it be simplified 60 by 85 minus 24 by 85 85 is the LCM 60 minus 24 so how much you will be getting what is 60 minus 24 so 6 this 36 by 85 since cos alpha plus beta is equal to 36 by 85 let us write alpha plus beta value that's equal to cos inverse of 36 by 85 now respective alpha and beta values are to be replaced in order to get our problem so now alpha is nothing but sin inverse of 3 by 5 beta is nothing but sin inverse of 8 by 17 which equals to cos inverse of 36 by 85 hence it is proved.